Kelly from Kelvin High School in Winnipeg, and we're representing Manitoba. Hi, I'm Chris Lavello from Mount McDonnell Collegiate in Winnipeg, and we're also representing Manitoba. And I'm Mark Lay to join us as we reach for the top. of Manitoba from Winnipeg. In 1970, they won the national championship first time back in 24 years. This year's Manitoba champs, Kelvin High School with Ferro Celine, Ben Singer, Paul Hesse, and Gabriel Desjardins, and their teacher coach, Doug Taylor. And standing in for the Saskatchewan championship team that was unable to attend, the runners-up from Manitoba, Miles McDonnell Collegiate with Kevin Light. Mark Rosetka, Rob Harder, and Chris Lovello, and their teacher coach, Gerald Scott. And now, here again is your quiz master, Mark Lay. Thank you, Jim Craig. Welcome to today's game. Welcome, judges. We have Paul Russell and Steve Officer. Paul, how did uh, we come to have two Manitoba well, as, teams? As, uh, the, as the announcer just said, the, uh, the team below here, Miles McDonnell, are the runners up in the Manitoba Championship. They lost to Kelvin by a mere five points in their point system. So these are arch enemy teams which are going to play again in our in our series. Ooh, a grudge match. Topic international politics right after this break. Just before we take a break, I almost forgot Kathy Gay Kudis keeping track of the score. Yes, I am. Okay, now we'll take a break. Be back with international politics. released the recent album Pale Sun Crescent Moon. Farah. Cowboy Junkies. Yes. Richard Nixon was the only one to ever do this. What was it? Kevin. Abdicate. No. What was it? Ben. Resign. Yes. The Guarani is a monetary unit of what country? Guarani. Kevin. Guatemala. No. What country are we looking at here? Gabriel. Zimbabwe. No. Paraguay. What Canadian golf course is beset by ravens? Gabriel. Glen Abbey. No. It carried off about 3,600 practice balls in 1993. What are we looking at here? Kevin. Devil's Pulpit? No. Yellowknife Golf Course. What's the capital of Barbados? Chris. Cape Town. No. Capital of Barbados. Gabriel. Bridgetown. Yes. All right. Reach for the Top continues. International politics being the topic. In the 1980s, what Asian political leader was assassinated by Sikh extremists? Gabriel. Rajiv Gandhi. No. Miles Mack? Indira Gandhi. What U.S. first lady promoted the catchphrase, say no to drugs, Farah? Yes. Who is Britain's first woman prime minister? Rob. Margaret Thatcher. That's right. Topic of art. Watch your monitors for help here, panel. Here's a first painting. Now, this is a self-portrait of what Italian Renaissance painter, sculptor, ar architect? Farah. Da Vinci? No. Miles Max, Kevin? Mango. No. Michelangelo. As a painter, Michelangelo designed the ceiling and front wall of what papal Christian chapel? Yes. Rome. The Caribbean. Nelson's dockyard and English Harbor are located on the largest of the Leeward Islands. Name the island. Gabriel. Jamaica. No. What's the island? Miles Max. Antigua. The British first settled on this island in 1627. Only 30 kilometers long and 22 kilometers wide. It actually has a Trafalgar Square built long before its London counterpart. What's the island? Paul? Jamaica. No. What's the island? Miles Mack? Barbados. Sir Francis Drake used to look out for treasure-laden Spanish ships from Drake's seat. This bay on what Caribbean island is Drake's seat? Farah. Jamaica. Miles Mack, St. Thomas in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Scramble for 10 points. In which sport or game are slate beds used? 
Ten. Uh, billiards or snook snooker? Yes, that's right, or pool. All right. And, Kelvin, these are your questions, and they deal with billiards or pool, but not snooker. For some reason, what was the name of the first shot in a game of billiards? Farah. The break? Yes. What color are the majority of balls used in snooker? Farah. Red? Yes. In pool, what color is the eight ball? Farah. Black? Yes. All right. <laughs> the topic is now physics. Which noted physicist developed the planetary model of the atom after studying alpha particles? Farah. Rutherford? Yes. Ernest Rutherford. German scientist Werner Heisenberg's uncertainty principle states that for any particle, two properties can never be simultaneously known. Chris? Its position and its momentum. Yes. That's right. What effect is responsible for the apparent bending of a... S Chris? Doppler effect. No. For the apparent bending of a straw when you place it in a glass of water. Kelvin. Farah. Refraction? Yes. Score, Steve? With that, Kelvin has 100. Uh, McDonnell has 30. And the topic is music. We'd like you to listen to these selections and answer the questions to follow. Here's the first one. And thank you, boys. Who's singing that song? Farah. Billy Joel? No. Who's singing that song? Miles Elton John. In what decade were Elton John songs? All right. The 70s? Yeah, that's right. Like Crocodile Rock and Rocket Man. Let's hear our second the tune. Ben. Uh, Hendrix? No. We would like you to name the singer or the band performing this. Or both. Kevin. Mellon Count? No. Nope. Both had a chance. Okay, you've both had a chance. Neil Young, Crazy Horse. <laughs> the band's Crazy Horse. The song Love and Only Love is from what Neil Young album? Farah. Harvest Moon? No. What? Uh, Miles Mack? Album's name is Weld. Mathematics. We'd like you to form the, uh, perform the following computations. What's 33 squared? Chris? 1,089. Yes. What is 75 per s $30? Chris? $22.50. Yes. To the third decimal, what is the square root of 6? Gabriel? 2.216. No. Miles Mack? Kevin? 2.216. Three, two, six? No. 2.449. All right, words. Now, the answers to the following questions all begin with the letters N, E, B. What hypothetical element, which was suggested by two bright green emission lines on the spectra of certain gaseous nebulae, was named by Sir William Huggins? Mark. Uh, Nebulium? Yes. That's right, Nebulium. Lincoln is the capital of which U.S.? Gabriel. Nebraska. What astronomical theory accounts for the first origin of the solar system? Ben. The Big Bang. No. His answers all begin with N-E-B. Miles Mack? Chris? The nebula theory. No. The nebular hypothesis. Just this. Here's a 20-point special. Name the four U.S. states with names beginning with the letter I. Gabriel. Iowa, Indiana, Idaho, Illinois. That's it. Okay. That's a 20-pointer. The topic is now the theater. According to the lyrics of a song in a British musical, who doesn't want Argentina to cry for? Rob. Time. Gabriel. Eva Perón. Yes. In the title of a certain American play, someone is invited to come back to the five and dime. Who? Who's invited to come back to the five and dime? Paul. Kids. No. Who? Jimmy Dean, or James Dean, if you prefer. Okay, you mix Andrew Lloyd Webber with T.S. Eliot, and you come up with a major musical. Ben. Cats. Yes. Yes. Literature. Adolescent Del Jordan's experiences in a small Ontario town are recounted by Alice Munro in what novel? Farah. Uh, Lives of Girls and Women. Yes. Best known for his novel, Madame Bovary, what, what, 
Ben. Slow bear. Yeah. Nobel Prize winner for literature, 1983. British novelist William Golding is best. Chris. Lord of the Flies. Yes. Okay. With that, Kelvin has uh, 180 and Macdadell has 70. Okay, panel in November, 1993. Who won the Grey Cup? Chris. Calgary St. Peter. No. Okay, Grey Cup. Paul. Edmonton Eskimos. That's right. A dungeon, a barbican, and a bailey wall are found in what structure? Chris. Castle. Yes. What is the sum of seven times three and four times two times six? Chris. 69. Yes. What is the name of the comic feline created by Jim Davis? Gabriel. Garfield. Yes. What's the term for rocks that result from the alteration of any pre-existing, Ben? Metamorphic. Yes. Okay, and with that, we'll take a short break. Reach for the top, we'll return with the assigned question. <laughs> McClellan. What a crowd, what a crowd. Where do we stand at the half, Steve? Anatolia champions Kelvin have 210, and Norm's boys from Miles Mack have 90. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just before we get on to the assigned questions, let's get a little brief history from these two Winnipeg teams uh, representing Miles Mack, Donnell, or Miles Mack. We have uh, Chris Lavallo. Chris, tell us a little bit about your school. Well, uh, Miles Mack is located in northeastern Winnipeg, and it's a high school of approximately 1,200 students. It's named after Miles McDonnell, who was the first governor of the Red River Colony in Manitoba. And it's well known for its, its sports and its um, wide variety of programs from IB to French immersion to special ed to vocational. Good. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> Meanwhile, in another part of Winnipeg, Farah Salim has some chosen words regarding Kelvin. Farah. We're the Manitoba team from Kelvin High School in Winnipeg, which is located in South Central Winnipeg. Our school was established in 1911, named for William Thompson, Lord Kelvin. And there are now about a thousand students in our school, and we offer the regular English program, the French Immersion program, the International Baccalaureate program, and courses like the Asia Pacific program. We also have an active drama group, which has recently won a French theater competition, which has been dominated by French-speaking schools. Thank you, Farah. The grudge match continues. Farah and Kevin, you're up first. The questions deal with the word four, as in the number four. F-O-U-R. All right. The press or journalists have often been referred to by a term derived from pre-revolutionary France. What is that term? The fourth estate. Okay. One more. Short words considered profane or obscene. Farah. Yes. yes, okay. Ben and Mark, what would I call a bed with carved corners and a canopy? Four poster. A team of four horses and one driver is called what? Ben. Four horse carriage. No. Mark, any idea? It's called a four in hand. All right, Paul and Rob. Same rules, the traditionally exclusive social set of mainline Philadelphia and New Paul. Four food groups. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite, no. The exclusive social set of mainline Philadelphia and the New York are known as what, Rob? 400. Gabriel, Chris. Whoop, well, hang on a sec, you got one more, haven't you? The religious apocalyptic vision of war, famine, pestilence, and death is known as Paul or Bob. The four horsemen of the apocalypse. Ooh, ooh. All right. Now, Gabriel and Chris, if you bluff in poker, it's called what? Four flush. Time is referred to as what? Gabriel. Fourth dimension. Yes. All right. Quotations. William Lyon Mackenzie said that what Canadian city ought to become at no late date the Boston of the colonies? Gabriel. Montreal. Yes. What famous French scientist and philosopher wrote, I have made this letter longer than usual because I lack the time to make it shorter? Farah. Uh, Louis Pasteur? No. Who said that? Chris. René Descartes. No. Blaise Pascal. A prince who desires to maintain his position must learn to be not always good, but to be... Chris? Machiavelli. No. To be or not to, as needs require. This quote is from what Niccolo Machiavelli work? Kelvin. Gabriel. The Prince. Yes. All right. Score fee? Kelvin now has 250 to Miles Mack, 90. Scramble for 10 points. 
What province was the setting for the Quiet Revolution? Gabriel. Quebec. Yes. Okay, these are yours, Kelvin. They deal with Canadian politics and 10 points for each correct answer. In what year did the October crisis occur? Right. 1970? Yes. Since modified, what was the name of the official 1977 law entrenching French language rights in Quebec? Bill 101? Yes. Who was the first Parti Québécois Premier of Quebec? Farah. René Lebec? Yes. All right. <laughs> the topic, plants and flowers as symbols. In ancient times, what herb was supposed to be an emblem of, of remembrance and fidelity? Farah. Rosemary? Yes. Yes. The branch of what tree has symbolized peace? Gabriel. All of them. Yes. What flower was believed to prophesy marriage if you kissed under it? Paul. Mistletoe. Yes. Canadian monsters. The loup-garou is the French-Canadian version of Paul. Werewolf. Yes. Werewolf. Okay. Uh, what is the name of the serpentine monster, Ben? Ugo Puga. Yes. yes. What Canadian man-beast to creatures like the American Bigfoot and the Yeti, Ben? Sasquatch? Yes. Yeah. Definite family resemblance, I think. <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Here's a who am I question. First clue correctly answered, worth 40 points. I was born in Ontario, the son of a Methodist minister. I studied history at the University of Tirana and enlisted in the Canadian Army Medical Corps during the First World War. Chris? John McCray. No. I was later transferred to the Royal Flying Corps, but I was sent home after being hit by a London bus. Farah? Mackenzie? No. I returned to the University of Toronto and then won a fellowship at Oxford, to Oxford. I became a professor of history at the University of Toronto, but I couldn't support my family on the teacher's wages and so took a job in the Department of External Affairs for 30 points. Who am I? Paul. Joe Clark. No. Yeah. Any idea there? Miles Mack. Rob. Stay Rome? No. My keen skills as a writer and observer led to rapid promotion in the civil service, and I was sent to London as first secretary of the Canadian High Commission in the 1930s. I was highly successful in my senior role for Canada in Washington, and I was a promoter of the United Nations. Chris. Lester Pearson. Yes. Lester Pearson. 20 points. <laughs> And now for something completely different, a question on art. Watch your monitors, answer the questions on Canadian landscape art. Here's the first painting. What 20th century Canadian painted this canvas? Farah. Tom Thompson? Yes. <laughs> Tom Thompson's painter friends formed what association, Ben? The group of seven. Yes. That's right. Here's our second painting. Now this is another landscape painted decades later by what Quebec artist? Jacques de Tonancourt, that's Paysage de Juin. Canadiana, what do the initials PSAC stand for? Public Service Alliance of Canada. George VI was the first, what, to visit Chris? Monarch. Yes. The first reigning monarch to visit Canada. Word puzzles. We're looking for a letter here. What letter do we add to the beginning of a word, meaning cardinal number between 1 and 50, to create a second word, meaning any heavy load, mass, or object. What letter are we looking for here? Mark. W. W. You add a W to H, and you get weight. What letter do we add to the beginning of a word, meaning something unpleasant that has to be endured, to create a second word, meaning to let the wind out of a sail? Mark. T? No. No. Calvin? Farah? S? Yes. S. You add S? pill and you get spill. What letter must be added to the beginning of a word meaning a cutting jest to create a second word meaning fit out as a ship or army, etc. What letter are we looking for here? Cutting jest. Kevin? L. No. Calvin. No. E. You add E to quip and you get equip. All right. Canadian entertainers in the United States. What British Columbia-born actor is best known for Paul? Michael J. Fox. No. Best known for his roles in the TV shows Ironside and Perry Mason. Chris? Remember. Yes. 
This actress was born Gladys Smith in Toronto in 1893. Snappers. Whoa, okay, we'll never know. But we do have some snappers right at the bottom of the pack here. What system of lakes is the core of Cape Breton Island? Mm -hmm. The Brador Lake. Yoho, Riding Mountain, and Wolf Bar Ben. National Park? Yes. Name one of the two landlocked countries of South America. Gabriel. Paraguay. Yes. Bolivia is the other one. In what city would I find the Trevi Fountain? Gabriel. Rome. Yes. Who wrote the novel entitled The Wars? Timothy Findlay. The Aswan High Dam contains the floodwaters of what river? Gabriel. The Nile. Yes. In what sport is the Waterloo Cup a coveted trophy? Dave. Gabriel. Lacrosse. No. Waterloo Cup. Rob. Rugby. Dog racing. Bombay is the largest city in what? Barra. India. Yes. Which Italian composed Aida and La Traviata? Ben. Bolero? No. Giuseppe Verdi. Who wrote the fictional trilogy about the small Ontario town named Gabriel? Robertson Davies? Yes. Deptford. One of the seven wonders of the ancient world was a lighthouse. Where was it? Chris. Where was it located? Ben. Alexandria. No. Oh, yes, sorry. Which classical composer wrote 104 symphonies? Para. Mozart. No. Where? Kevin? Beethoven. Joseph Haydn. What would I be driving in the race called the Iditarod? The Iditarod. Gabriel. Dog sled. Yes. Who is the leader of the Reform Party of Canada? Paul. Reston Manning. Yes. What is the capital of the state of Massachusetts? Gabriel. Boston. Yes. Bisque is a special type of what kind of food? No. Special type of what uh, type of food preparation? Miles Mack. Chris. Seafood. No. Soup. What Spanish character tilted at windmills? Ben. Don Quixote. Okay. I'll uh, practice saying I did a rod and we'll be right back. Steve says the Battle of Winnipeg is over. It's Paul, over what's, the, what's uh, the final score? Uh, this time, uh, Kelvin won with a considerably wider margin than they did in their previous battle. Kelvin winning with 480 points to uh, Miles Max, 140. Thank you, teams. Good game. We'll have another good game for you next week as the Nationals continue. Top is designed as a showcase for exceptional Canadian young people. Next week, it's Bell High School from the Peel, Ontario, against Saunders Secondary School from London, Ontario, in game number three of the national quarterfinals. I'm Jim Craig. We'll see you again next week for another exciting Reach for the Top.